Well, hey there, boys and girls. As you can see, doing a little lab today. Make sure you follow your lab procedures because I painstakingly typed up step-by-step -step instructions for exactly what to do to help you through the lab. A few things. This uh, jar here, this is a beaker. That would be for your hot water bath. It'll go on top of the hot plate here. Uh, you're gonna have to plug the hot plate in. Before that, you need to make sure you have the table plugged into the wall. Uh, there's these little flippy power thingies over here on the side, an extension cord inside. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this table, by the way, gets plugged in right over there. So you have a different unknown, or so you have an unknown food sample and you have different known food samples. You're going to use uh, this uh, scoop right here for the unknown. You can use the pipettes for all the knowns. Starch, you know, nice uh, polysaccharide. You may have to spin it up a little bit. Use the pipette, stick it down in there. You may have to turn this a little bit. You're just going to be doing a few drops. Sometimes it'll talk about a pipette load. Uh, then you'll just use a pipette load as instructed. Uh, you're going to use the iodine uh, to test for the starch and make sure that the starch pipette gets back in the starch box otherwise uh, things will get all cross contaminated uh, you got milk here's some uh, powdered milk wouldn't recommend drinking it it's pretty gross use that to test for uh, polypeptides for proteins use the biorette reagent with that and again when you're done everything back in the milk box oil you'll use this to test for lipids this is a really cool like Bill Nye the Science Guy type thing. Uh, you just paint it on here and then rub it around. I mean the instructions. And then the honey, this is honey and water mixed together. Again, honey pipette used just for the honey. And the Benedict solution is the one we're gonna use for that. Uh, all these are gonna end up going in test tubes. Some of those test tubes may need to go into the hot water bath. For mixing in water to your unknown, use this right here, in a little baby food jar with a separate pipette just for water. And again, it's very important that everything goes back into the box. If you accidentally wipe away part of the box because you're so excited for science, that's okay, let me know, and I can uh, re-chalk it out. Let's do this.